Hello everyone, welcome to our newest update from Tainted Grail The Fall of Avalon. It's a development update, so please remember that everything that you see here uh, is a work in progress. So you're gonna see some placeholders and plenty of stuff that I'm going to show you. It's, yeah, a work in progress and there are some bugs, amazing bugs, like something like the thing that you are going to see here. So, essentially what we wanted to tell you uh, is that we are working hard on our new patch and this patch we hope that our new update is going to be um, available by the end of April or somewhere around mid-May or early May but yeah a couple of months uh, from now but uh, we are working hard on creating an, an, an entirely new region of the game and like we're taking a lot of feedback we've heard from you into consideration while working on this uh, new region. I am so amazed by this bug. Uh, so, <laughs> but uh, today I'd like to uh, I'd like to tell you a couple of things about one of the core features that we want to introduce in uh, in the in the new in the new patch and this feature is a, a, it's, it's a very big deal for us and we wanted to record it, like record a video for you um, showcasing what, what, what it's all about because we really want to hear your thoughts about it. So, the point is that in the game, in the lore of Tainted Grail, there is this thing called weirdness and everybody if you've played our demo or if you've played the game already in early access then you will know that a lot of npcs mentioned weirdness and uh, it's 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 there it's in the world but <laughs> the way we implemented it was it, that it was just a blob in in the world you could have entered it but nothing really happened in there we were not happy with the way it worked <laughs> and uh, we were like trying to come up with some ideas um, on how to actually approach this problem with uh, with care and thought and to make it something something actually interesting because with the weirdness as it stands in the lore of the of the board game and our game uh, is a pretty exciting thing so <laughs> what it is for those of you who didn't uh, didn't play the game is that the weirdness is a force of change of pure possibility and it's like kind of like a mist that appears in the land of Avalon and essentially anything that you can think of can happen in the weirdness but uh, the problem is that humans can't live it like can't live in it it's it's toxic for us it's it's a po it's like a poison it uh it can create plenty of different things and change us even like it can it can merge a uh, merchant with his cart or it can like it can create crazy abom abominations out of stuff so essentially humans are like <laughs> shouldn't venture into the weirdness and the problem in the game is that the weirdness is uh, what it was pushed back by Merlin Merlin and King Arthur uh, 600 years ago and it's coming back and it's becoming um, and it's becoming a problem again so what we came up with is is that we realized that it can the, the weirdness can easily like <laughs> well not easily but it works thematically uh, in our game, or it can work, as a system that uh, is related to uh, to our day and night cycle. What we came up with is that the weirdness can be something that you not really encounter, but wander through. So, what is what's the development idea behind the weirdness? Is that we <laughs> realized that instead of creating a blob that's uh, going to move through the through the through the map uh, we, we decided to co cover the entire map with the weirdness only but only at dusk so i'm going to skip ahead like for uh, a couple of hours now i'm going to show you what's what's going to happen so uh, the core idea please don't look at the well we we have a, some like a crazy bug that's doing this crazy thing to, to our textures but uh, 
you can see something forming uh, out there in the distance and this is like one of the ideas that we have uh, to differentiate day and night and to do some cool stuff on the horizon. The point is that when night falls, uh, the every <laughs> everything not only becomes way darker than bef before, also everything is getting co uh, covered in weirdness. You can see all those like tiny dust, like tiny particles up, uh, here. You can see that there are some like effects on the screen, and uh, everything is getting darker and darker. And it's going to be really dark uh, soon. Like we are like uh, we are late at night right now, and. You probably shouldn't wander through the weirdness, but it's going to be worth your while. But before we get to that, uh, we realize that the weirdness should twist the world that you live in. And one of the ideas that we had is we wanted to make sure that enemies that you're going to meet are going to be tougher. So what you saw right now is a transformation, it's a, lot, it's a work in progress, they're not going to have those red eyes, but the enemies are going to get t t tougher, they are going to uh, change their behaviors uh, a bit, and everything is essentially going to become more deadly. You, you, you should realize that uh, when you wander through the weirdness, you should realize that you <laughs> it's going to kill you. Um, if you don't prepare yourself for what's uh, for what's coming. However, with while well, you are working, like w when you are uh, wandering to the weirdness, and when you are ready to for to, like to uh, be challenged, but by, by whatever's happening there, you are going to encounter uh, new items. They are going to like the idea we were toying with is that they're going to be unidentified, uh, meaning that. You will have to. Uh, you will have to either use a spell, go to an NPC who uh, will be able to identify them for you. Yes, I uh, I know you caught the reference to another game that we made here, and and also uh, there are going to be new, like probably new locations that open only after uh, after dark, and so on and so forth. So uh, the game's gonna get tougher when you wander at night, but anytime you want, when you are able to craft uh, this particular item, you will be able to start a fire. You will be able to start a fire uh, pretty much anywhere you want, if you are not currently in combat, if you are not too close to, to another fireplace, but you will be able to place a fire, like to start a fire and decide that Okay, that's the end of my exploration for now. I don't want to go uh, go any uh, any further. Uh, I just want to chill. So you start a fire, and the thing that we are going to try um, right now—that's that's the first iteration of this of this general idea—is that we want this to become a core system in the game. So, uh, in order for you to actually need those uh, need those campfires we are going to limit limit your abilities to fast travel it shouldn't be available everywhere on the map another thing is that we want you to level up not everywhere in the game this ui is obviously a placeholder but we want you to level up when you uh when you rest by the campfire it doesn't have to be this campfire it can be any campfire in the game uh, or when you sleep in, uh, in a in a uh, in a in a in a normal bed in a hub, um, we want you to be able to cook by the campfire. We want to be able to do various things, and and as you probably noticed, there is a uh, there is a certain NPC that uh, appeared here, and yes, we want to be we want you to be able to talk with this NPC uh, while you. Rest when you decide to just chill for the night. We want you to be able to develop a better relationship with this NPC. I'm not gonna tell you anything more because it's gonna be a huge spoiler. But that's the essential. Uh, this like that's that's the gist of it. That's we want to <laughs> to give you a lot of new cool abilities uh, in this like particular place. So. Uh, Obviously, you can go to sleep and just uh, and just wake up uh, at dawn when everything comes back to normal. So, the game is going to be 
focused on exploration as, as an RPG should, you will be able to explore, but we needed or wanted uh, to achieve like a couple of things. One of them is that we wanted to be able to play with the weirdness and what it gives us, the, the idea of, you know, change of the world, the, the limitless possibilities of, of uh, this crazy force. Um, so that's what we wanted to do. And the second thing is that we really started toying with the idea that we want to create a certain rhythm to the game. We want to create something that you can, um, that makes perfect sense because like we got a lot, not a lot, but we got some bug reports where, uh, when, where, where people were complaining that they have no idea why they enter the horns of the south, this is this hub here, and they don't realize why, uh, why the NPCs are not available, because it was the night, but they didn't get the fact that it was night, because uh, it was just wasn't developed well and well enough so that that's what we want to achieve right now and i'm gonna show you the transformation once again uh, so what do you like that's what we want to achieve the the idea of changing the world and creating a certain gameplay rhythm uh which hopefully is making a lot of sense for you uh as you as you hear that so uh yeah better better i should probably run and that's the beauty of playing with developer cheat codes uh, and <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the essentially that's the that's the general idea for the weirdness. There are going to be a lot of surprises there, uh, as as you can imagine, having this kind of this kind of thing in the game, we can create like new sources for al alchemy, new dungeons that are like like I said, new dungeons that are av uh, available only at night, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, and yeah, more to come, but before we get into that, before we spoil uh, even more, we'd love to hear from you. We really would love to hear what you think and uh, yeah, how you. <laughs> we really want to know how you react to this. Uh, because it's. Uh, we know that it's a huge change and it's a huge uh, system. But we are, yeah, we are pretty excited about it. It just ties a lot of loose ends together, and uh, yeah, I, I hope you get you're you're going to, to to like it. But yeah, please comment on this video on our Discord and let us know what you think because we are going to be reading everything you have to say about it. And just as a bonus for those who survived to this part of the video, I want to like give you a very brief first look at one of the new places, new biomes, new, reg new, new, new places in the, in the region, uh, the new reg upcoming region that we're working on. So uh, this is obviously a work in progress and uh, we're going to, you know, tweak it, it's gonna be even more, like, even better. But yeah, this is one of the places that you're be you will be able to vis visit uh, when our patch drops and to reiterate, it's going to drop by the end of April or somewhere in May. Sometime in May. Uh, it's, you know, it's hard to predict uh, at this point in time because uh, there's a lot of work ahead of us and there is a lot that we still want to add to the game. So yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the first look of a new region, like a new biome in the new region because it's not going to be just um, you know, as town as you may have. Uh, the, uh, oh yeah, no colliders. Great. Like I said, a lot of box yet. So <laughs> uh, it's not gonna be just the town. It's gonna be a lot of cl crazy cool places and crazy cool um, things. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Like here, you. Uh, we hope to be able to publish something on time next time. Yeah. <laughs> That's that. We are going to try. So thank you very much again. And goodbye.